I had Japanese style fluffy pancake with mango sauce. It looks nice, alright? This meal set is Ginjake Seishoku, local high quality salmon. Hi guys, I'm Jay. This video is about restaurant guide of Sapporo Hokkaido. In Sapporo, awesome food is available. Hokkaido has great ingredients like seafood, vegetable, meat, great food from beautiful nature. I'm gonna introduce 10 restaurants on this video. Restaurants in Sapporo Hokkaido. The first place is seafood restaurant. You can have nice and fresh seafood for a reasonable price. The name of the restaurant is Dekitateya. It's located just near Sapporo Clock Tower. This meal set is Toro Saba Teishop. The fish is macaroon. This meal set is Ginjake Teishop, local high quality salmon. The restaurant has homemade soy sauce. It goes well with tasty fish. Sapporo and Hokkaido is famous for great miso ramen. The restaurant name is Ramen Shingen. This ramen shop has ramen with six different flavors like miso, salt, soy sauce. Of course, I had the miso ramen, rich flavor miso. It has noodles, shiny soup, and a roasted pork to it. It looks beautiful, right? Great ramen. Shingen is worth trying for sure. The next place is fried chicken restaurant. Hokkaido has its own style of fried chicken. Japanese call fried chicken as karaage, but Hokkaido people call it zangi. I had mixed zangi meal set. Here comes fried chicken with salt, seaweed, red ginger, and soy sauce. It's juicy and crispy. The seasoning and taste are absorbed into the chicken. The next place is cafe, not restaurant, but this is a unique spot. That was a fake door. That looks real door. Oh yes it is. And inside has cool design and good vibes. Lots of people come here for chill out or walk. I had ginger ale, Hokkaido local one, and it was good. This cafe's name is Otonaza. Next place is cafe for great dessert. It's near Akarenga. Akarenga is former Hokkaido government office building. This area has nice and classic atmosphere. The cafe name is Brooklyn Parlor. I know the name is very American. Maybe it's not very Japanese, but it's a great place to visit. It's good interior design, it must be good for a date. I had Japanese style fluffy pancake with mango sauce. It looks nice, alright? And our gritty, nice and fruity smell. I like it. This video makes me hungry. I hope you feel the same. Sorry about that. Nice and chill coffee. It's close to support station. Check it out. Soup curry is Hiro's favorite. Yes, it's my favorite. Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka style. Spice from Sri Lanka. That's good. We are not many soup curry restaurants in other districts. Yes. In Osaka or very Sapporo thing. I 
as very crispy and inside is very tender. I'm gonna dip this into curry. So now we are in Izakaya, Hokkaido, Sapporo. Your name is Igo Kochi? Hi there. <laughs> Local support beer. At first, I'm gonna introduce bakeries. Cause Hokkaido has great bakeries and uh, I love bread. This was a great bakery. The name is Buruku Bakery. It has plenty kinds of bread. And I had uh, this one, sausage one, and melon pan, Japanese style bread, sweet one. And this is another good bakery in Hokkaido, Penguin Bakery, the Hokkaido local brand of bakeries. When you are a little bit hungry, you should try these bakeries. The name is Yuria Restaurant. It's very classic and old school style. It has manga, comics. Simple dishes are available like soba, udon, curry rice. I had omurice. It's stir fried rice wrapped in an omelet. Stir fried rice has vegetable and chicken. It's my favorite dishes. Simple and classic. If you want simple food in Hokkaido, you should try it. This is the last chapter. I'm gonna introduce Hidden Cafe. This is a cafe. It looks just like normal house, but it's cafe. If you are a Japanese anime fan, and if you know Studio Ghibli, it's like Ghibli movie. Old and warm house. The cafe name is Morihiko. Morihiko is Hokkaido brand for cafe and coffee. 
but I put link of the places on description so check it out they provide sweet snack and the matcha green tea stuff coffee and tea it's nice and quiet atmosphere I really love this area Mariama Koen it's good to visit by yourself or with a friend your family it's not amusement place this is not a place you can get excited but still it's a great place I had special brand tea it smells nice and I had a good time chill and relax